Hey friends, so my live performance and live looping with Ableton course is finally released as of today. So to celebrate, I wanted to address a silly notion that I've heard recently coming out of the EDM scene, and that's the notion that live performance is dead. So is live performance actually dead? At this point in history, musicians have so many amazing tools at their fingertips to create incredible music in their homes. Especially with electronic or BPM-based music, producers spend hours and hours perfecting each sound to a hyper-detailed degree. So much emphasis is put on the sonic novelty of sounds that little to zero thought is given to how that music will actually be performed on stage. At the present, most musicians who create this kind of music will simply travel with a thumb drive of their tracks and plug into a DJ mixer and call it a day. The only real performance aspect occurring in this situation is the transitions between tracks or how well you can do different interpretations of the elephant or the sprinkler. Now, as easy as it is to pick on these live performances where all the musician is really doing is tweaking knobs on muted tracks, I'm not here to do that. And in fact, I actually want to defend this kind of show real quick. I think it's great that we now live in an age where we can celebrate compositions of musicians in their studios. It's almost like the return of the recording artist, which is a dream for so many musicians. Also, this kind of show has pushed live sound reproduction companies to create insanely rad speaker technology that can fit in smaller crowd applications like Function One, Hennessy, and more. But as much as I love this focus on sound design and composition, I have to admit that as a musician and a fan of live music in general, I often find myself wanting to experience more. Even if the music that I'm hearing is incredible and the sounds being generated are completely new and novel, to me, something is missing. I crave the spontaneity of where music can go in the moment and the incredible interplay between the crowd and the performer if the performer has live performance freedom. After seeing how uncommon it's become for an electronic artist to play instruments or tweak sounds live, you might make the assumption that live performance is too hard or not worth trying to do. But I call shenanigans, and I'm here to challenge this notion. As someone who's been performing live with Ableton for two decades, I truly believe it's just been a lack of available information and training that has led to artists to simply defaulting to press playism and fake knob twists. Okay, so why should you care about performing your music live? Well, there's never been more new music coming onto the scene at once. We live in a time where the tools to make incredible music are easy and cheap to acquire, and the information on how to use those tools is everywhere, hence my YouTube channel, for example. Competition in this space is extremely heavy, and everyone is making awesome tracks. But unless you're lucky, you know the right people, and have a giant promotional budget, likely your music will fail to break through the noise of the 60,000 songs coming up on streaming platforms every single day. It's pretty grim, I know, but if you really think about it, there's a giant opportunity available to musicians who dare to perform their music live. Here's why. We live in an age where social video content is king. YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, and more have made it so folks rarely ever pay attention to anything that doesn't intrigue or impress them. Take one look at the difference between amateur musicians who play beats on drum pads, they live loop, or they play an instrument, and it's easy to see how much more online attention these performers can muster. As far as I can tell, if you really want an advantage and you want to grow your audience, performing your music in any way, from simple knob twists and clip launching, all the way to live looping and live instrumentation, live performers these days have an extreme edge on breaking through. This is why the tiny desk or live from the van style performance videos are all over the internet. They simply work and folks engage more with this kind of content. I even recently did an experiment with my solo project Earthcry, where I took some stems and ran it through some modular gear and had my friend Lavender sing and the video absolutely crushed anything I had previously put out. Like what? So live performance grabs attention, and in the attention economy, those who take on the task of not only making amazing music, but also doing it in real time, will be the folks who cut through the noise. Take the smash success of live looping artists Mark Riblet, Ed Sheeran, and my personal favorite Beardy Man, or the millions of views made by FKJ's videos, or Floating Point's epic KEXP performance. Electronic or computer-assisted music can be performed live in extremely entertaining and fan-engaging ways. Also, to add perhaps an unseen threat to this equation, there's the emerging and scary prospect of AI-generated music. What may seem like an incredible tool on the front end where AI or machine learning plugins and software are making music creation easier, the sneaking and scary part is that we're rapidly approaching an era where AI systems will be creating music instead of humans at a pace that we could never keep up with. 
Music that is functionally identical to human-made music, especially in the electronic or beat-based genres. If you thought it was hard to eke out a living as an in-studio musician before, imagine how much harder it would be to compete with automated music creation akin to what is happening in AI-generated art, such as with Midjourney or Dolly. As far as I can tell, the only way you could ever hope to compete with the coming changes in music technology is to learn to add a human element back to your music that other humans can connect with. This is where live performance comes in, as one thing AI could never do is be a human making music with their hands. So no, live performance is not dead. In fact, I believe that musicians who are willing to explore the wide world of live performance will only see more and more opportunities open for them as the future unfolds. Now, however you choose to meet this coming future, there is no better DAW to perform with than Ableton Live. The software was designed from the ground up to be used live. It's in the name. I've created the largest and most robust online course for taking any live performance style or idea that you might have and making it possible with Ableton Tech. In this massive course, I teach everything that I've learned over two decades of touring with Ableton, from deep MIDI controller integrations, live looping, syncing to bandmates, live rig setups, live instrument effect processing, instant song and preset recall, and so much more than I can name here. I've poured all of my experience of Ableton-based stage performance into this course, which features over 15 hours and growing of video lessons designed to upgrade your performances to amazing levels. So if you enjoy my teaching style and you want to meet the future with the tools that you'll need to navigate it and have lots of fun in the process, check out the link above where you can learn more about my courses. Most online education these days are monthly memberships where you end up having to pay for something that you can't access in the future, but not here. Enrolling in Seed to Stage courses gets you lifetime membership to the ever-growing base of video lessons and access to our now 700 strong private Discord where you can get your Ableton questions answered in real time, feedback on your tracks, support for your music releases, free resources, and more. Anyway, as far as I know, this live performance course is the only source of education and training available for live electronic music performance that's at this size and scope. So if you want to learn more about what the live performance course covers, you can click on the link up here or in the description and comments. And yeah, admittedly, I selfishly want more when I go out to see live music. There will always be a place for a person standing behind the DJ table with their fingers in the air, but I would love to live in a world where more and more of those fingers are actually doing musical things. Above all else, for me, live performance is fun and it keeps me engaged with what I'm doing. I couldn't imagine being on stage and not giving my idle hands something to do. I know the initial process can feel scary, and there's a lot of things that can go wrong with live performance, but that's where proper training and show prep come in, all taught in hyper detail in this live performance course. Anyway, thanks, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm always gonna be putting out free content. I just wanted to tell you about this specific course when it comes out. If you like this kind of thing, I'd love a sub and a bell. Anyway, I'll see you next time, everybody. Thanks for watching.